All right, so today I'm working on the cruise control in the car, trying to get that working. The car's actually running really good right now. Transmission's working great. Most everything is working great. There's a few little things that don't work. Two of them are gauges in the center console. One of them's a transtemp gauge, and the other one is the oil temperature gauge. But the one thing I really want to get working with the car is the cruise control. Right now I don't have cruise control and it's pretty annoying driving a car without it. So yeah, let's jump into it. I got a few ideas of what it might be and why it's not working. But the first thing we're going to need to do, go into the computer and scan it and see exactly what isn't working. We could have a few things that could cause that. We could have the brake pedal switch. What I think it is, is communication between the body control module and the ECM. A few other things, ABS, trash control, stuff like that could also shut it off too. I don't really think that's a problem though because I have all the other lights out on the dash. So the scanner I rented is a Snap-on Modus. And the reason why I rented this is because it's a long weekend so I can make some good use of it. And because it's a trusted scan tool, it always sucks if you're trying to do something with some wacky scanners like say, this, say like a cell phone one, Bluetooth one or whatever. Sometimes it won't give you the right information. So when you're doing stuff like this, it's good to, it's good to use a trusted device that's going to actually work and do what you want it to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through all the settings here and we're going to get our truck entered in because that was the ECM came from. And right now we're running an operating system from a 2016 Chevrolet truck. That's what the engine came out of. That's what the computer came out of. And then you want to go into engine and you want to go into data and you want to go into cruise control. And from here, we're going to be able to see all of our cruise information. You can see at the top, well, actually you can't see because it's lit up there. But you can see at the top, it says cruise control on off enable, set, resume, all that good stuff. So right now where we're at with the cruise control is if I hit the on off button on the steering wheel here, I will get the indicator to come on the dash. So we know the switches and the body control module are working with the instrument cluster. That's all communicating and saying, hey, I want to turn the cruise control on, puts on the indicator. But that information is not getting relayed to the ECM. So when I hit the button on here, I get nothing going on here. Cruise control on off. It still reads off even though it's on. Enabled, all that stuff. Push them. Try to hold them. They don't do nothing. So we know that our cruise control switch signals are not getting from the... Well, they're, getting, they're at the steering wheel. They're getting to the body control module. The body control module is sending them to the instrument cluster. That's turning the indicator on. So we're kind of halfway there or most of the way there. But we know they're not going from the body control module to the engine control module. And that's why it's not working. One other thing we can check while we're in here, brake pedal switch. And you can see the brake pedal switch is working good. Brake pedal switch actually is wired directly to the ECM, so that's not surprising that that works. But that is good to know that it does work and it's releasing. There is a relearn to do on these cars. You can go through the scanner and do it. I actually already did it, so I'm not gonna worry about it right now. But we got that ruled out, that's good. So we know that there's actually something going on, but it doesn't seem like it's making it to the engine control module and that's why it's not picking it up on the scanner and showing us that that's working. Now, one of the reasons why that could be is because of the operating system that we have in the engine ECM. It may not be compatible with the operating system that's in the body control module and the signals that are sent between the two to tell them to do things are different. So what can we do to fix that? Well, we can try flashing in a different operating system. And the operating system that I've chose to flash in is actually one from a van, a 2016 Chevrolet Express van. They came with a 6.6 .6 Duramax as well. They were the LGH variation of the LML. They had a little less horsepower. And there's a few different things in the code or in the operating system for the van compared to the truck. Pretty minor stuff, but it actually might be better suited for a car. So as EFI Live, I already have a van OS ready to go. And the van operating system that I'm going to be using is this 12660050. You can see it's for an E86B. It has to be for an E86B, not an E86A. Now, if you look down here a little bit, you see all the different operating system numbers for all the different segments. These different segments are all of the different almost subsystems inside of the operating system. And these would kind of be the things that'd be different. You are able to swap these out, do a segment swap. And possibly with enough time and given enough effort, you might actually find the segment. It might be the speedo segment, might be system. I'm not sure. Like it could be, you could be able to swap one of those out with the correct one and end up getting it working. But we're, what we're first going to do is take this van file and you're going to do full flash. Then you click full flash. And then if you had the device connected, 
it's going to bring up a green bar and it's going to full flash it. And for the sake of the YouTube video and not taking forever, because it's about a five minute flash usually. So after the flash, you normally do shut the key off after the flash, do its countdown. Countdown's complete. So we're going to key back on and we're going to go back into our scanner here. Just going to back out of this. We'll just go ahead and back out of the truck. Then we're going to stick with 2016. We're going to go express 6.6. .6. You can see it says LGH. Yes, we would like that. Engine again, data display, cruise control data. All right, let's give this a try. So now we want cruise control switch on off. So cruise control switch on, comes up on the dash. Hey, there we go. I think it's going to work. Try it off, on. Let's try resume. Resume works. Let's try set or coast. That works. And then we want the cancel switch. Try cancel. Cancel works. So we have all functions showing on the scanner now. Cruise control enabled. That's not going to show until we're on the road and at speed. Let's see if, um, say, brake pedal position still works. Brake pedal position still works. So with all that working, I mean, there's a pretty good chance we'll be able to take it on the road right now and try it out and see how it does. But one thing we want to do before we get on the road is go into EFI Live again. Because when we did the full flash for the van file, that would have updated our VIN number. Okay, so we're going to go to Auto Detect. We got EA6B there. We got our T43 from the 6L90. And then we're going to want to go into VIN Change. So if we say Retrieve Current VIN on the E86B, then it'll give you the incorrect VIN from the file you just flashed. So then you'll just go ahead and click on the T43 dot here. Click Retrieve Current VIN again. That should pull out the current VIN, which is your correct VIN, if the T43 is programmed correctly before. Then you just click Copy Current VIN over. Then you want to do Update Check Digit. And then you can flash or update that VIN number to your ECM. One difference with the van file in regards to the immobilizer system, it actually has a bit of a different system. And the very first time I flashed this van file into this car, the car wouldn't start. And what I ended up finding that worked was doing the key on, key off method for 10 minutes at a time. So that was key on, wait 10 minutes, shut key off, count to three seconds or five seconds, key on 10 minutes, five seconds off, key on 10 minutes, five seconds off. And then it actually relearned that um, key passcode in there and it started again. And ever since then, I've been able to flash the truck file or the van file back and forth without any issues. But if you do swap over to a van file, then just make sure you do that key on, key off method. I'll actually try to find that method. I'm pretty sure I saved it in my photos. So I'll try to find that method and I will put it up on the screen right now. And then hopefully you can be reading this right now on the screen and seeing how it's done. And if you need a screenshot it, then you can save it for your own thing. If you're doing something similar to this or building a car like this. So as you can see, cruise control is working good now. It's so much better driving the car with cruise control. It's like, goes from a five out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 driving experience. All right, as you guys can see, cruise control is working 100%. Transmission temperature gauge is working 100%. I cannot wait to take this thing on a long road trip now that I have cruise working. That's gonna be so much more enjoyable of a drive. I haven't really gone far with it yet, and that's kind of one of the reasons. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you learned something, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so I can catch you in the next one.